Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Hope and pray you're doing all well this morning. And uh, I'm uh, still recovering from whatever it is I had going on. So, yeah, I just got run down, I guess. All right. Uh, but I will say before I get started here this morning that it's uh, an absolute pleasure to get up and read from God's Word every morning. And uh, a little time in the Word and time in prayer. Um, it's a good way to start the day, and I'm uh, happy to happy to do this for whoever wants to listen. So, uh, so if you're out there, thank you. Uh, feel free to share and all that good stuff. So with that, let's get started. Uh, we're going to go to Psalm 100, and then we have a reading in Jeremiah, and then we're going to the Gospel of Matthew. So Psalm 100, and as always, may God bless the reading of his word. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. For the Lord is good, his steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. That is good stuff. Good stuff. Get a little coffee here. Oh. All right, next we're going to uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter 23, verses 1 through 8. And this one's entitled, The Righteous Branch. Woe to the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, declares the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Concerning the shepherds who care for my people, you have scattered my flock and driven them away, and you have not attended to them. Behold, I will attend to you for your evil deeds, declares the Lord. Then I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries where I have driven them, and I will bring them back to their fold, and they shall be fruitful and multiply. I will set shepherds over them who will care for them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed. Neither shall they be missing, declares the Lord. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his days Judah will be saved, and Israel will, de will dwell securely. And this is the name by which he will be called, The Lord is our righteousness. <clears throat> Therefore, Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when they shall no longer say, As the Lord lives who brought up the people of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but as the Lord lives who brought up and led the offspring of the house of Israel out of the north country and out of all the countries where he had driven them, then they shall dwell in their own land. And that's good stuff. Good stuff. All right, next we're going to the New Testament, uh, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 20, verses 17 through 28. Um, and then we have, uh, here it says that Jesus foretells his death a third time, and then a mother's request. So here we go. <clears throat> and as Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples aside, and on the way he said to them, See, we are going up to Jerusalem. And the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death, and deliver him over to the Gentiles, to be mocked and flogged and crucified, and he will be raised on the third day. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came up to him with her sons, and kneeling before him she asked him for something. And he said to her, What do you want? And she said to him, Say that these two sons of mine are to sit, one at your right hand and one at your left in your kingdom. And Jesus answered, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I am to drink? And they said to him, We are able. And he said to him, said to them, You will drink my cup, but to sit at my right hand and at my left is not mine to grant, 
but it is for those whom it has been prepared by my father. And when the ten heard it, they were indignant of the two brothers. But Jesus called them to him and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lorded over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. It shall not be so among you. But whoever would be great among you must be your servant, and whoever and whoever would be first among you must be your slave. Even as the Son of Man came not to serve, not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. The last line. Even as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. I want to make sure that one came across right because I kind of fumbled on it. But anyway, this is the word of the Lord. All right, we'll go to the Pray Now app, and I'll read the prayer of the day. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have built your church on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the cornerstone. Continue to send your messengers to preserve your people in the true peace that, by the preaching of your word, your church may be kept free from all harm and danger. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right. Well, hope and pray you all have a fantastic day. We've got a full day here planned. Uh, so with that, uh, be safe, be happy, be blessed. And we'll see you tomorrow on Coffee and the Word. God bless.